For a long time, Roblox's rating system has been pretty useless for both developers and players. This primarily results from the fact of how the rating process actually works. When you play a game on Roblox, the only requirement for rating that game is literally that you've played it a single time. So, with the requirements being so low, this has caused a portion of developers to complain about their game being botted with negative ratings. To be clear, I'm not trying to make an accusation that Roblox has a really bad botting problem or anything like that, because I honestly haven't delved too deep into that and I haven't experienced it myself, but understanding how simple it is to rate a game how easy it is to create an account, and different things like that, I think it's at least fair to say that it is probable that game ratings can be botted, at least to a certain extent. Now, the other aspect for why the rating system is kind of useless is because that there is no other feedback given with a rating. On Roblox, the rating system is simply a thumbs up or a thumbs down button, which is very visibly displayed on any game's homepage. The game's homepage will tell you how many players have rated the game and display the percentage of players who have clicked the thumbs up button versus the thumbs down button. Now, the downside of there being no other feedback given can be seen even more clearly if we take a look at games which are more challenging, or more specifically, games that draw in a younger audience but are also too difficult for them, like an obby for example. Imagine a child comes on a Roblox and plays the highest quality obby game on the platform but due to their own skill level, they continuously fail and eventually leave the game. Once they left, they go back to the game page and leave a dislike rating. Now, how relevant is that to the overall opinion of a game? In my opinion, it's almost not relevant at all. If I still have to convince you that the current rating system is pretty unhelpful, then let's consider the many other places that rating systems are used, like marketplaces. If you shop on Amazon or any other marketplace, you've probably seen products displayed with a 0 to 5 star rating. The star rating system on its own is also almost entirely useless, similar to the one that Roblox uses. Where marketplace rating systems become useful at is when they allow buyers to write out a text review of the product and share their experience with it. Now, this doesn't solve the botting issue, but it definitely makes the rating system significantly more useful to both buyers and sellers. Now that we have a foundational understanding for where Roblox's rating system is lacking and what a useful rating system looks like, let's take a look at the changes that Roblox is implementing. So, Roblox recently announced in a post on the developer forums, which is currently still a test, but the forum post is called Detailed Player Feedback with Ratings. And when I saw that title, I actually got extremely excited. So, in the future, Roblox will give players the ability to directly provide feedback along with their rating. They're doing this by providing players a few options of positive feedback checkboxes to give the game, and they're also allowing players to provide additional details as well. Now, this is extremely helpful for developers because it's another source of data that we can look through to try to get a better understanding of our player base and also how we can improve as well. Unfortunately for the players though, this doesn't exactly solve the lack of information provided with the current rating system. And the reason for that is because all the feedback given through this rating system is only intended to be provided to the developers, at least as of now. And in the post, it doesn't seem like they mention anything about this feedback being publicly displayed. And before you get too annoyed by that, I think that's completely understandable because if we look at the bottom of the post, the post is signed with love from the creator hub team. So I would have to assume that the creator hub team has literally nothing to do with what is publicly displayed on a game's page for the most part. And rather, they're literally just working on the creator hub, which is kind of like the back end for us developers to look at for different stats and information about our own games. So even though they haven't mentioned anything about the feedback being publicly displayed on the game's page, I think the fact that they're allowing players to give additional feedback is a great step in the right direction. And then with that system being already created, it makes it a little bit less work for whatever team would implement it on the game's page to display the reviews that way. So it definitely gets us a little bit closer to there, but they really haven't mentioned that aspect of things yet. And even though I do mostly assume that that will be a thing in the future, actual feedback being displayed publicly on the game's page, I also recognize that that feature alone comes with a set of its own issues and headaches. For instance, players will leave poorly constructed negative criticism that might even be unfair for the game. Developers will not appreciate that and will definitely want to avoid it being displayed on their game's page. Page. Still though, there are solutions to this, like even having a simple thumbs up slash down rating system for ratings which will hopefully allow the community to help prevent poorly constructed reviews. But still, I know that won't solve all the issues that may come along, but I still think that Roblox's rating system can be improved. With it being said though, I don't want you to leave this video with a negative mindset towards Roblox not doing enough to improve this system. Me personally, I'm really happy that they're making this change. Like I said, I think it's extremely helpful to developers, 
And improvements and advancements are always a really good thing that we should always appreciate and show love to the team and the people who actually do those things. Are the advancements perfect or exactly what we wanted? No, of course not. I mean, for the most part, they never are. And that's literally not even just referring to Roblox. I'm just saying with pretty much anything in general. It's really uncommon for something to be perfect and exactly how you want it, but you should still appreciate what you actually get and look at the positives from this. Because once again, even though I feel like I've said this a hundred times now, this is very beneficial for developers. And it's one of the changes that came out recently that I'm actually really, really happy with. I'm always happy when us developers get these sort of changes, which just gives us more and more data to collect and look through. And at the end of the day, it's only beneficial to us and it's not harming us at all. So we should all at least be happy with this change. Anyways, with that all being said, that's pretty much it for this video. Keep in mind that this feature is still in testing. So if you leave a rating on a game currently, depending on if you get lucky enough to maybe be one of the people who they're testing this with, then you might be prompted to provide feedback or you might even be a part of the test on the developer end where if you go into your creator dashboard and look at your game, you might even see the feedback there as well. But if you're a reviewer or if you're a developer and you don't see those things, then don't worry because like I said, this feature is still in the testing phase and it doesn't seem like they've given us a timeline for when this feature is going to be released. If there is any estimated timeline, I will leave a comment down below to kind of update you guys on that. But with all that being said, let me know what your guys' opinions are on Roblox's rating system down below in the comments. Are you happy with this change? Are you excited for this change? Do you sort of agree with my mindset of taking some of the features from marketplace rating systems like feedback and different things like that? Or do you think that's a bad idea and you think there might be a better route to go? I want to be clear that I never think my ideas are the only ideas or the most right ideas because I feel like the only way that you can ever find the right answer to things is by trying out different things and collaborating and talking with others to get feedback, to see all the different possibilities and at least hear all of the ideas. But yeah, anyway, let's have a discussion in the comment section. And with all that being said, I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.